back for more Nancy Drew Haunted Carousel. Uh, uh, I'm not sure why the music in the background is making it uh, super creepy, but we're here. And I am, of course, your Gibbs. I don't like the way this guy uh, spins here. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I'll see you around. Sounds good. Okay, so how do we get out of here? We need to escape from this area. Uh, la 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 la. Round and around we go. So I'm not sure what we want to do here. Well, let's go say hello to everyone. Hello? Hello, Nancy. Still on the case, I see. We sure are. I'd like to take a closer look at the roller coaster, but the access card reader has been red tagged. Harlan says it's because you're working on it? Right. I was in the process of upgrading its main circuitry board. I'm afraid you're going to have to wait until I finish here. Unless you'd like to do it for me. Sure. I'm game, but needless to say, I've never done it before. It's not exactly brain surgery. All you have to do is follow the schematic inside the reader. Here's the new macro resistor. When you see the board, you'll be able to see where it goes. You'll need to solder it in place. Okay, where do I get a soldering iron? Which means you're going to have to get my soldering gun from Elliot Chen. Here's the engineering handbook I put together. If you have questions about park-related electronics, it'll answer them. Keep it as long <laughs> as you like. This is making me think of Electrical Engineering 101 I had to take in my first When you're year. all done, remove the red tag and take it to Harlan. That way he'll know it's safe to turn the power back on to the reader. That's not my cell phone. It must be yours. Are you going to answer it? No, that would be rude. I'll just call them back. Okay. So, once you get that tool from Elliot, you should be all set. I don't seem to be having much luck using my access card. Am I doing something wrong? I deactivated most of the readers because of the shutdown. Soon as I get done here, I'll get them online again. Sorry. Hey, if you come across a pair of pliers, hang on to them, okay? Mine are missing. Someone must have walked off with them. Interesting. Any advice on how to go about fixing the Midway game that's broken? It needs to be reprogrammed. Open up the back. Should be some instructions on the clipboard. Check that handbook I gave you if they're too cryptic for you. But you'll also need the plug-in keyboard. And unfortunately, I have no idea where it is. One of my guys probably left it in the park somewhere. <laughs> I like that she's just super smart electrical engineering lady. That's so, so cool. Uh, oh, all right, fine. Thank you. Thanks for your help. No big deal. Oh, it was a big deal to me. Arcade. So we got arcade. We got circuits. Look at all these ohms. Oh my gosh, this is totally a flashback. Oh boy. What do we have? We have dress code. We've got a lathe. We've got red tags. And soldering. Cool. That is a handy dandy book where been given here. Well, let's go talk to Elliot then. Hopefully he's not still mad at us. Why does everyone spit around? It's super creepy. Well, Miss Destructo returns. <laughs> Miss Destructo. I'm really sorry about what happened before. These things happen. So, I hear you're out to solve the curse of Captain's Cove. Yep. How do you explain what's been going on around here? What do I know? I'm just an artist. Go ask our naturopathic engineer person. Do you have any idea who stole that horse off the carousel? Somebody who's into junk. Okay. That's odd. Ingrid said carousel horses can be very valuable. Well, when they're the original horses, they can be valuable, yes. But I was talking about the one that was stolen. It was not an original. Around 18, 20 years ago, somebody bought one of the horses off the carousel. The guy who owned the park back then commissioned some hack to replace it. Hmm. And that's the horse that was stolen. The replacement? Right. The fact that the park is shut down must be kind of a relief for you. You mean because I'm behind in my work? I'd be lying if I said the shutdown wasn't helping me get caught up. Meeting deadlines has never been my forte. But I certainly hope you're not suggesting that I arranged for the park to be shut down by somehow manufacturing this curse thing because that would be ridiculous. Yeah, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Totally ridiculous. Ingrid said you have her soldering gun. I need to get it from you, if that's okay. You bet. Here you go. Been meaning to return it to her, but I've been a little busy. Okay. Great. Thanks. Do you see much of the other people who are working during the shutdown? 
Like Joy Trent or that security guard, Harlan Bishop? Nah. Joy Trent? She's, like, invisible even when she's visible, if you get my drift. And that rent -a cop I've got no desire to see anything of him. Why do you say that? Dude is way too eager to make my business his business, that's all. Okay. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks a lot. Oh, anytime. Ah! <laughs> Look at her rotate. <laughs> Nancy! You're a procrastinator's dream, know that? Come in. Ask me questions. Ask me lots of questions. Wow, now he's really nice. Oh, I'll let okay. you get back to work. Keep it real. Keeping it real. So we I can use here. this to measure. What would I be measuring? I don't know. Maybe some of this, but I don't know. No, that's just the ring. Whoa, why did the music just get started up here? So let's go to the roller coaster. Uh, well, I don't know if Joy is here, but we'll just do this first, I think. Red Better tag. not take the tag until this I fix this. This takes an employee access card. Okay. 10 and 30. Where does this go? Whoa! Do we just have to solder it? I think so. Ah, we'll just try this. According to Ingrid, you not only fried that particular card reader, but you short-circuited the entire system. She says it'll take days to repair the damage, maybe even weeks. Oops, guess I really blew it, <laughs> as it were. I'm not in the mood for lame jokes, Nancy, nor am I in the mood for paying for any more of your mistakes. So guess what? You're off the case. What? Again? First I blow up the hotel, and then I fry all the electrical security systems? Well, that can't be good. So how am I supposed to get this off hmm. then? Can I... Oh, I guess this is how I take it off, is it? Um... Hmm... Can I, like, swap or something? Hmm... Hmm. I'm not sure I understand. What am I supposed to solder? Circuits. So here's some colors here. Five looks like that. Ten looks like that. So ten is brown, black, black. That's brown, black, black. Hmm. But I don't understand how I'm hmm. supposed to move this stuff. Like, I can't... Hmm. I can't pick it up or anything. Okay. Hmm. Let's back out and find out the instructions then. I call the service to request an upgrade for the card reader. Below is a schematic for the circuit. As it currently stands, resistors are in parallel. 10 and 30. Waiting for delivery of the macro resistor. I split the circuit to allow easy soldering of the macro resistor once it comes in. Krollmeister called and said that the total resistance for the upgrade has to be 15 ohm. They said the micro, uh, macro resistor will give 5. Hook the resistors up in series. Okay. So this is a question of how do I... So right now, these two would be in parallel. Okay, uh... I think I know what I have to do. Follow the wire path. 
I'm not sure how that helps me though. Like how in the world is this supposed to get in series when... That still puts it in parallel. I find this very confusing. So what does that do? Oh, maybe I'm only supposed to wire together 15, like that, maybe. I don't know. Because that would be... There, that looks right. Yay! Nancy the electrical engineer figured it out. Aha! Give me that thing. Oops, no power. This takes an employee access card. Okay, so I have to go talk to... It's locked. Who do I talk to? Ingrid, maybe. Ingrid. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? How well do you know Elliot Chen? Not very. But I've noticed he has a very strange aura. Very dark around the edges. Odd for an artist. But then, it's nowhere near as dark as Joy's. Her aura's a mess. Why do you think that is? She's hiding something. And she's hiding from something. Something very big and very dark. Plus, she eats way too many carbs. <laughs> to say nothing of pencils. Say what? What do you mean, pencils? Thanks for your help. No big deal. Okay. Well, let's go to the security office then. No, not this is not the security. Oh, she's actually here, though. I really do need to get this work done. R right. Sorry. Remember the robot? I remember the robot. He is awesome. All right, Nancy's got to spin around and around and around. Let's go talk to Harlan. Dude, I fixed your security thing. Hey, Nancy, what's up? Could you turn the power back on to the card reader outside the roller coaster? It's all fixed. Here's the tag. You bet. I'll just switch the circuit back on and you'll be all set. Good, good. Ingrid said you told her that you were a bouncer before you came to work here. In Trenton, not Flemington. Uh, right. I was. For a while. I've held almost every guard type job there is. Lived in a lot of different places too. Trenton, Jersey City, Flemington, Cape May. So all places in New Jersey, I would... I'll see you around. See you. Have fun. <laughs> Have fun. Nancy doesn't have fun. Well, I guess maybe she enjoys solving mysteries, so fun in her own way. All right, so the coaster should be on now. Ready to rock and roll? This takes an employee access card. Okay, let's see. Yay! Ooh, sharks. Hello, sharks. Emergency this stop. looks like one of Joy's. It's been chewed up, hasn't it? So that's the emergency stop. Ow! I'm trapped! Well, this can't be good. Uh oh! To uh. get my foot loose, I need to switch the tr Looks like I have to reconnect these wires. Ah! Uh. Oh my gosh. Now I can turn the power on and see if these are properly connected. Well, that was close. What's going on here? This place is falling apart. Somebody's handprint. Uh, I nearly got ran over by a shark roller coaster. Hi, Nancy. Uh oh, does Joy know you got one of her pencils? I hear she counts them. Actually, I found it near the roller coaster, just before it almost ran me over. What? Are you alright? I'm better now. I'm okay, but I'm pretty sure someone started that coaster knowing full well I was standing on the track. I'll head over there and take a look as soon as I can. In the meantime, maybe you should just kick back for a while, you know? Go to the hotel, put your feet up, order a burger. I might just do that. Go get him. <laughs> what? 
I don't think Nancy really puts her feet up, does she? She's always getting herself into the next mystery. Alright, Joy, why do I why was your pencil at the scene of the crime? Need something? Do you by any chance know how to read shorthand? Sorry, sure don't. Do you ever talk to the other people who are working during the shutdown? I'm not very good at socializing. I couldn't even tell you what any of them look like, quite frankly. I go to work, I work, I go home. That's pretty much my life. That's kind of a sad life. Someone activated the roller coaster while I was standing on the tracks just now. I barely managed to escape. Really? Are you sure it was on purpose? Maybe you accidentally tripped a switch or something. No, no, definitely not the case. It was no accident. Does this pencil I found by the tracks look familiar? That looks like one of mine. But I didn't leave it there. I mean, just because you found one of my pencils, that hardly proves I'm guilty of something. Joy, while you were gone, the Nancy Drew entity came in here and snooped. <laughs> hey, You hey. were snooping around in here? Well, I was more looking for you. Well, I was leaving you a note. You know, to call Elliot. An analysis of sensory input shows that the Nancy Drew entity entered the immediate area during your absence and exhibited non-random seeking behavior. <laughs> wow, I no longer like you, robot. I was just trying to do the job Ms. Santos asked me to do. I didn't know I was being watched. My father was a frustrated inventor. After he died, I discovered that in his study. In his will, he said he made it just for me. I don't have room in my apartment, so I brought him here. I keep him covered when I know I'm going to have company. As you noticed, he can be kind of a blabbermouth. The word blabbermouth is without meaning to Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. <laughs> Why does he call himself the Magnificent Memory Machine? My father said he invented Miles in order to reacquaint me with my childhood. It always bothered him that I was never as happy-go-lucky as he was. What am I, Miles? Joy Trent is a party-pooping stick in the mud. So my father programmed him with a bunch of riddles designed to reconnect me with long-lost memories from my childhood. What a wonderful gift! I don't see it that way at all. I don't want to relive my childhood. My mother died when I was four. My mother died when I was really young, too. Maybe I could help you. I should be mad that you were snooping around in here. But the truth is, I think it's neat that you're so gutsy. Especially since I'm so... not gutsy. Oh, what the heck. Okay, Miles, let's hear the first riddle. Here is the first riddle. Listen carefully. To be told a truth long since put away, bring me the silvery remains of a four-bit day. I have no idea what he's talking about. I mm. knew it would be a waste of time. Maybe it'll ring a bell with somebody else. I'll ask around. Do what you want, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. Okay, well then don't hold your breath. Any luck with the riddle? I'm still working on it. Need something? No, I'll get back to you now. as soon as I can. I'll be right here. Alright, well let's go talk to a security guard dude again. And spin around here. I think we'll talk to everyone, actually. Hi. Hey, Nancy, what's up? Does the phrase, silvery remains of a four-bit day, ring any bells with you? Huh? Uh, never mind. <laughs> I'll see you around. Sounds good. Sounds great. Do-do-do-do-do. Back outside we go. How about Ingrid? She might know, because it's all bits and stuff. She's an engineer. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? This is going to sound like a really odd question, but if someone asked you to get him the silvery remains of a four-bit day, what would you do? Same thing any normal person would do. Ask him what the heck he was talking about. Right. <clears throat> I got your soldering gun from Elliot and fixed that card reader. Does he borrow your tools a lot? Very rarely. He's not exactly a mechanical genius. Thanks for your help. Remember, niacin. Okay, I will keep that in my memory bank. All right, Elliot, what do you got? All right, break time. I know you're busy, but I was hoping you could maybe help me solve a riddle. If I asked you for the silvery remains of a four-bit day, what would you give me? A riddle? I love riddles. Okay, let's see. 
Silvery remains has to be something silver that's left over, right? Okay, now, if 2-bit means worth a quarter, 4-bit would mean worth two quarters. Quarters. Captain's quarters, maybe? The hotel adjacent to the park? Captain's quarters day. Day, spelled D-A-E, as in Sunday. That's it. There's this fantastic Sunday you can get only at the hotel. They call it a fun day. It's been their specialty for like centuries. Comes with a souvenir spoon, silvery, as in spoon, get it? Elliot, you're a genius. Next riddle, come on. I'm on a roll, baby. I'm in a groove. Bring it on. Uh, I'll let you get back to work. Riddles. Keep it real. And I would like all of you to keep it real. We'll be back for more and then see Drew very soon. Uh, I can't believe we get to have an actual fun day. I'm really pumped about that. Bye for now.